Have you ever been swallowed up? And everything was swallowing and everything was overwhelming. <laughs> Jayla Way. I'm Jayla and if you want to know how to get this gooey gooey brownie hot cocoa winter look then keep on watching. So I'm just going to start off using this Smith's Rosebud Sloth for my lips. I don't want to have cracked lips while I'm applying my makeup. Ew. Guys my lips have been so dry this entire winter. I want to wipe down my hands. Yep, get rid of that. Okay, I need to get rid of my hair, but I love it. Let's pull my hair out of the way. Let's pull it out of the way. How's that look? Okay, what first? Okay, before we put on foundation, I'm just going to take these e.l.f. eye tapes. These are very helpful because, girl, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I really hate putting anything, like I'm very sensitive on my eyes and I hate like doing this. Like it irritates me so bad. Like my eyes just water at any slight like stimuli. Let's start with the eyebrows. I'm using Real Hair Brow Setting Gel. But first I'm gonna fill them in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And this is in Ebony. Thank God my best friend wax my eyebrows for me when she was here for Christmas. I'm just gonna fill in any sparse areas, like the front right here, just to give it a little bit of depth. And I always like to drag my tail out because I have short eyebrows. So I always want some length. I always want a little bit of length and a little bit of drama. Guys, please pray for me. I do not know what I'm doing. Do I know what I'm doing? No. Am I gonna pretend? Yes, yes I am. Okay, it's looking a little bit too grizzly and that's when I know it's time to stop. So then what you wanna do is once you filled it in, you're gonna brush it out with the gel and blend it. So now I like to brush up. Down, one, up. Down, two, up. It's like me. But literally, you wanna like brush it up to give a fuller effect to make it appear that you have more than you already do. Let that rest. Did I do it right? Tell me in the comments. So now I'm gonna, <coughs> bro, what is going on my throat? <coughs> so I guess swallowed a pack of dust bunny. Have you ever been swallowed up and everything was swallowing and everything was overwhelming? I'm gonna take this lighter concealer and I'm going to carve out my eyebrows. This is NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Contour Concealer. I'm gonna take it, a sharp brush and just, just make the shape more prominent. That's the best I can do. Did that help? I don't know. Somebody please help. Somebody please help me. Oh, this is the shade golden honey. I'm gonna do the other brow and just follow the natural shape of the brow and then I'm gonna drag it down because this is gonna be my primer for my eyeshadow. If I'm in doubt, I guess you just blend. I don't know. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just blend until it looks like something because right now I think I can't. I think I can't. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it's cute. Let's just drag it down. Okay, that's the best it's gonna get. Since this is like a hot cocoa look, we're gonna do a brown liner and a brown eyeshadow with brown mascara. We're going real cocoa puff today. And I wanna do a dramatic liner, but the brown makes it very subtle. Um, guys, I cannot be serious right now. I forgot to put on eyeshadow. <laughs> but we're already in too deep. So to fix this, we're going to go in with the eyeshadow. I have this NK Drugstore Mocha Mix Eye Palette. I'm gonna take this dark brown and just pat it all over my eyes. Somebody tell Pat McGrath that her job is over. 
she's done love my eyes but having pitted eyes is very annoying like imagine having the eyelid space to do what your heart desires like imagine having that type of look i'm just gonna brown it out and apply more and then i'm gonna do this halo shape i don't know how i'm gonna do it over there because i already put the freaking eyeliner on but it's giving hot cocoa like powdery okay i'm gonna try to do it on this eyelid and just uh reapply the eyeliner let's have start a challenge don't open your mouth when you're applying makeup just trust the process this is gonna this is gonna turn out great in the name of jesus i'm gonna put apply my eyeliner on this eye and then color it in i love this tape it really like helps you get a precise look i can see my eyes my eyelid fat is already covering the shadow so i'm gonna bring it up a little bit more we're gonna go in with ruby kisses super mascara in the color a dark brown you probably can't even see it but i just want my eyes to be soft today so the eyes are done here comes the scary part let's see <laughs> Oh, wow. This is cute. I like this. Okay, now I'm gonna go wet my beauty blender. I'll be right back. We're gonna apply the base now. I'm gonna go in with this Milani hydrating skin tint because I don't want it to be too harsh. This is in the color 310. And I'm just gonna put this all over my face and then hope for the best. Is that too much? Now we're just gonna blend it out blend it out blend it out bring it down the neck people <gasps> no we could fix that we could fix that maybe i'll do some foundation down in the lower parts i want to do some foundation on my hyper pigmented areas to have more coverage and it's looking kind of ashy right now but that's going to be fixed with like contour and the bronzer don't forget to get the ear. Okay, here comes the scary part, concealer. So I'm actually gonna use two concealers. I'm gonna use that NARS that I use on my eyebrows and the Golden Honey, and then I'm gonna use a darker shade of mahogany. My friend said go on the outside first, and then on the inside, put the brighter color. I think that's what she said. Yeah. the chin upper lip and then while that's setting i'm going to contour with this fair brush it's a contour and blend i'm gonna go in with the true complexion black radiance contour palette the jaw the forehead and just thin that out. Yeah, the circling motions work. This is looking very chocolatey, guys. I'm gonna blend until it looks correct. Quiet on the set. That's pretty much blended. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the same beauty blender and I'm going to blend out my concealer. It's been setting long enough. Mm mouth is still agape guys i'm proud of myself this is really coming out i've never you would have never thought that i don't know what i'm doing oh i forgot to contour my nose <sighs> on my chin my forehead i might have to phone a friend guys because i don't know how this is gonna turn out i guess i could fix this with bronzer <laughs> i'm just gonna blend that out so there's not any harsh lines i don't know guys tell me how i'm doing in the comments so now we're gonna bake we're gonna go in with this pink lip blue setting powder in the shade deep honey i have this powder puff that's real professional i'm gonna apply it everywhere i conceal And let's let that bake. I'm 
just doing what I know. I'm just doing exactly what I've seen on the World Wide Web. Not too much on me, okay? This is my first time ever like baking. So far, I think it's going great. Okay, I've been baking long enough. We're gonna take this e.l.f. brush and just fan off the entire thing. Now we're gonna do the bronzing. So we're gonna bring some color back into, we're gonna bring some dimension. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. bronzing brush. I'm gonna bronze. Yes. And just add some more depth. Make the highlighter tone down a little bit. Somebody help me. Guys, it's getting a little tricky. Thumbs up. I'm gonna set the cupid's bow. Okay, so I bronzed, and now we're gonna do my favorite part. The part I know, lips. So I'm just gonna go in with this. I'm gonna do this burnt brownie type of look. So we're gonna go in with this black eyeliner, but you could use it for proof. I thought I said quiet on the set. I've sharpened my pencil. I'm gonna line the outside of my lip. This is, this is really the star of the look, the lips. And that's just a random beauty supply store eyeliner, pencil eyeliner. And then I'm gonna add some depth. I'm gonna go in with this brown to make it real chocolatey. Lastly, I'm gonna go in with this Lava Cake NYX Butter Gloss. This is gonna tie everything together. what do you guys think and we have this chocolatey base this chocolatey brown ooey gooey lip okay this lip came out more vampy than hot cocoa but i tried all right i'm gonna go in and add a little a smidge of highlight and then we're gonna go in with the shade and see if we can get some type of blush some type of blush going. Oh, okay. Here we go. I'm just gonna blend that out so it's subtle. That came out aggressively. I'm gonna go get dressed and we're gonna come back for the final look. Okay, this is the final look. I pinned my hair up because it looks better. But I think we have a perfect winter chocolate smoky look. Um, let me know what I did wrong. I'm really wanting to go on this makeup journey. I want to beat my face. I want to be slayed. And I want to enhance my already perfect features. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.